In this session, we're going to convert miles per hour, which is often abbreviated as MPH, or more appropriately, MI for miles per hour, over to units of meters per second. Now in America, we tend to think of speed or velocity in terms of miles per hour. But in the SI system, we use the unit of meter per second. So in this session, we're going to learn how to convert uh, between these two units so that we don't have to continuously look up uh, conversion factors. Now, we can do all of these conversions out in a few simple steps. So let me just outline those basic steps. I'm going to take a mile, and I don't know a direct relationship between the mile and the meter, so I'm going to convert a mile to a kilometer and a kilometer to a meter. That's going to be my first step. So this is going to be, say, my length conversion process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the time. So this is my length conversion. And then my next step will be to convert unit of hours over to seconds. So I don't know a direct relationship between hours and seconds, but I know a relationship between hours and minutes, and then minutes and seconds. And so this will be my time conversion uh, part. And at first, I'm going to do these two conversions out. I'll do the length conversion out in one step, and then I'll do the time conversion out in another step, and then I'll show you that they can be simplified and combined. All right, so before we begin, let's say we're going to convert a common speed in the U.S. So on most highways in the U.S., 65 miles per hour is the average uh, traveling velocity or speed. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this mile over to units of meters. And I'm going to multiply that by my first conversion factor. I know that one mile has 1.61 kilometers in it. And then I'm going to, if you notice, miles cancels out with miles and I just have units of kilometers. And I now know that there is one kilometer in 1,000 meters. And when I do this out, you know, and again, notice this unit of kilometers cancels out with this unit, and I'm left with units of meters per hour. So I can now write this as 65 times 1.61 times 1,000, and my units will be meters, and my units of time will be hours. And when I do this multiplication out, I get 104,650. So 104,650 meters per hour. So this was my length conversion. My next step is to convert my hours over to units of seconds. So I have 104,650 meters per hour. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that over to um, seconds. So I know one hour has 60 minutes in it, and I know that one minute has 60 seconds in it. So notice that my units of hours cancels out here, my units of minutes cancel out here, and what I'm left with is meters per second. And when I do this out, what I should see is that I get 104,650 I'll have units of meters, and I'm going to divide that out by 60 times 60 seconds. So 60 times 60 seconds, which should work out to be about 29.1, excuse me, 29.1 meters per second. And I'll circle that because that's going to be my answer. Now, I'm going to do this in a slightly more compact way, and that's basically doing the length and the time conversion out all together. And before I do that, I'm just going to clear up a little room. All right, so now I have 65 miles per hour. And what you should get comfortable with doing is the length and the um, time conversion out in one step. So here's how I'm going to do this. I know one mile has 1.61 kilometers, and I know that one kilometer is a thousand miles, excuse me, a thousand meters, and that, so this is my length conversion, and now I'm going to multiply that by my time conversion, and I'm going to go from units of hours, so I'll put an hour up here, and I know one hour is 60 minutes, and I know that 60 min, oh, excuse me, 
and I know that one minute is 60 seconds. And notice this is my time conversion. And when I do all that out, I would get, I'll multiply everything in the numerator and divide it by everything in the denominator. And let me just make one more point clear. This unit of mile cancels out with this unit of mile. This unit of kilometer cancels out with this unit of kilometer. And I get a length of meters. Now this hour will cancel out with this hour, this minute with this minute, and I'll be left with units of seconds. So ultimately I'll get units of meters per second by doing all this calculation out. So I'm going to multiply everything in the numerator out and divide it by everything in the denominator. So I get 65 times 1.61 times 1,000 and I get units of meters. And I'm going to divide that out by 60 times 60 seconds. And when I do that I get the exact same thing that I got in the previous case which was 29.1 meters per second. So you should start becoming really comfortable doing both time and length conversions in the same step.